Welcome to lesson 118. We are in the home stretch and today we're going to talk about completing the square. Uh, sometimes it may be necessary to complete the square to solve a quadratic equation. And if you remember, a quadratic equation is something in the format of uh, x squared plus 4x minus 5 equals 0. It might also look like x squared plus 4x equals 5 because the 5 has been added to both sides. When you have this scenario where you have an x squared and an x, it is necessary to unsquare this. Now, yes, you can do this by factoring, but what if your numbers don't line up for factoring? What if this doesn't work for that? There's another way to do it, and it's called completing the square. So what you do, first and foremost, is you go ahead and you put your numbers in descending order, your terms in descending order, and then you go ahead and you take the whole number and you add it to both sides or move it, you swim your fish, and that leaves you with your x squared plus 4x on this side and 5 on this side. All right, and this is step one. Step one is swimming the whole number. Okay, we swim the whole number. Step two, we are going to divide, I'm just going to put the symbol here, we're going to divide the x coefficient by 2 and square it and add it to both sides. So in this case, the coefficient of x, or the x coefficient, is 4. 4 divided by 2 squared is 4. So x squared plus 4x plus 4 equals 5 plus 4. Because we added 4 to both sides so that we can maintain this equation. I'm going to move this step number 1 number out of the way. This is step number one. This is step number two. That's a little bit easier to tell what I'm doing. All right, so now we have um, a perfect square here that we can factor. And that's the whole point, is we want to make this a perfect square. All right, so this is going to be x plus 2 and x plus 2. And now that it is a perfect square, we can just put the square symbol there and erase this excess. Okay? Now we know to undo this, we have to find the square root of this. So we just flip it over. So x plus 2 is equal to plus or minus the square root of 9. Okay? Because um, Negative 3 times negative 3 is 9, and positive 3 times positive 3 is 9. So now we solve that. x plus 2 equals plus or minus 3, right? And now we're going to solve for x by subtracting 2 from both sides. And we can say x is equal to plus or minus 3 minus 2. And now we can actually solve for this. We can say uh, x equals positive 3 minus 2, which equals 1. And x is equal to negative 3 minus 2, which is negative 5. So our answer is 1, negative 5. 
and we got that by completing the square. Okay, so let's jump into 118.1. So 118.1, the problem is, or the expression, equation is, x squared plus 6 equals negative 10x. Okay, well that's not in the proper order, so we have to add 10x to both sides. So we'll rewrite that. x squared plus 10x plus 6 equals 0. And we will swim our fish, step 1, x squared plus 10x equals negative 6. Now we're going to take our step 2, we're going to divide our coefficient of x by 2 and then square it. 10 divided by 2 is 5. 5 squared is 25, so we add that to both sides. x squared plus 10x plus 25 equals negative 6 plus 25. Okay, so now we find the, the perfect square of this, and that is going to be x plus 5 squared equals 19. Now we unsquare this by saying x plus 5 equals plus or minus the square root of 19. And then we solve for x by subtracting 5 from both sides. So x equals negative 5 plus or minus the square root of 19, and that's as far as we can go. So that's our answer. Okay, whenever your number um, is in the square root, we usually write that to the back of our expression because we consider that almost like a variable, okay? So let's move on to 118.2. Um, I think I can do it right here. All right, so this one we have x squared plus 5x plus 3 equals 0. There's a couple of things here that's going to give us some difficulty. The first thing is that 5 is not divisible by 2, so that's going to be a problem but I will show you how we can get around that. So let's go ahead and swim this three to the other side. Okay, and then we're left with x squared plus five x equals negative three. Okay, so now we need to have the um, five divided by two squared and add that to both sides. So that's gonna be x squared plus five x plus 25 over 4. I don't know why I wrote 24. And we got that by saying 5 divided by 2 times 5 divided by 2. That's 25 and that's 4. And we're going to add that to both sides. So negative 3 plus 25 over 4. Now, in order to add these two together, we need to give this a common denominator. So we're going to multiply this by 4. So it's going to be negative 12 over 4. So x squared plus 5x plus 25 over 4 equals 13 over 4. Okay, so now we find the square of this, and this is a perfect square. The square of this is x plus 5 over 2 squared equals 13 over 4. Okay, so now we unsquare this and say x plus 5 over 2 equals plus or minus the square root 
of 13 over 4. All right, we know because of a previous lesson that we can take this, I'm going to do this right here in the middle, and we can make this 13, square root of 13, over the square root of 4. Well, the square root of 4 is 2, so we can rewrite this as plus or minus the square root of 13 over 2, because 2 times 2 is 4, right? Okay, so now we can subtract this from both sides. x equals negative 5 over 2 plus or minus the square root of 13 over 2. And that's solved. That's as far as we can take this. All right, so let's do 118.3, and then you can do some practice problems. All right, we're going to complete the square, x squared plus 1 equals 3x. So we have to rewrite that by swimming some fish. So x squared minus 3x plus 1 equals 0. We'll swim this dude over. So x squared minus 3x equals negative 1. So we have to do the same thing here. Negative 3 over 2 times negative 3 over 2 is going to be 9 over 4, right? So x squared minus 3x plus 9 over 4 equals uh, 9 over 4 minus and 1 is going to be 4 over 4, right? So x squared minus 3x plus 9 over 4 equals 5 over 4. Now we'll find the square for this, and that's going to be x um, minus 3 over 2 squared equals 5 over 4. And again, we'll unsquare and say x minus 3 over 2 equals plus or minus. And we're going to do the square root of 5. And if we had done the square root of 4, we would just have 2, just like in our previous problem. We're going to add this to both sides. x equals 3 over 2 plus or minus square root of 5 over 2. And that is the answer by completing the square. All right, that is all I have for lesson 118. I will see you in lesson 119. If you have any questions, please let me know. Please message me or get with me in class. And um, I will see you in 119, like I said.